all right everybody welcome to your fifth php tutorial in which we'll be working more on variables so in the last tutorial we learned how to create a variable and initialize it with some value and let's create some more variables so let's say this is number one hundred number two and yes you don't need to put single quotes or double quotes whenever you are assigning um, a variable in a numeric value so you don't need to do it like this this would just work fine and this one as well or this one or whatever so here you go now we have three variables my first variables let's just name it message because that looks my first variable looks odd so message number one number two we could have more variables number three or number four as so you see that we could have a lot of different types of variables and we could actually have a bool type as well which is either true or false I hope you guys know what true or false means obviously so similarly we could echo each of them as well so let's say echo message then I would do echo br so so as to make sure that each of them appears in a new line and we do have a quick fix for that as well so we would be looking at that how we do that shortly so this is number one number two number three um, echo number four echo br echo bool type all right so let's view it on the web page let's reload Whoa. okay so you see that we get hello fox as message 100 as number 1 200 as number 2 number 3 number 4 well, where is the bool type well the bool type is not echoed because it is just a boolean it's just a flag it's either true or false what would be echoed here because this is not something like this this is a boolean variable we will be learning more about boolean shortly but I just want to make sure you guys know that you simply don't echo um, bool types on pages you could either convert them into integers and then echo it for example false stands for 0 and true stands for 1 so anyways so that was more on variables in this tutorial and in the next tutorial we will be probably looking on arithmetic in PHP which is kind of tradition while learning any language to look at how its arithmetic works so that's it for this tutorial pretty much and I'll see you then next time don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching